Back in the kitchen, and Randy hadn't even eaten anything yet. Check you out. Look at you, short well, I, and straight. I, well, I've had a little bit, but I'm I'm just I'm just getting started. Don't myself. eat the strawberry graduate. Yeah, Please I, don't. That looks Isn't so that good. So adorable? Really, really good. <laughs> I see the donuts around it too. I'm gonna turn those into strawberry shortcake, which you can see right here. Like there's, oh, a, yeah, but okay. it's very easy. Okay. I think everyone's gonna appreciate the ease of this. Mm -hmm. And also, as we get into you know graduation party season, yeah. summer barbecuing, these are some great ideas on how to do some easy make-ahead dessert type options that use fresh fruit, strawberries. Love it. Love it. Where you wanna yeah. start? Well, it's National Strawberry Month, so let's start talking about the strawberries. Anytime that you see these massive, gorgeous, beautiful strawberries, it is because the strawberries are in, this is like the peak season yeah. for strawberries right now. Okay. These strawberries are all coming out of Watsonville, California. All right, this is the best strawberries that we're going to get year round. Watsonville is the most famous growing region hmm. in the world for strawberries. It's hmm. considered by people like me who work in ag. It's the strawberry capital of the world. And right now they are in the peak abundance of strawberries. So wow. if you haven't put some in your grocery cart, now is the time. So okay? I suppose you have to wash those too, right? Before you must you, yeah. wash. Yeah. I, I recommend you wash all your produce. Oh, Unless yeah. the packaging says washed and ready to eat, then of course you don't have to. Right. And the only way that you need to wash your produce is cold running, cold running water. water. That's all that you need. It removes over 99% of any pesticide residues. I've been putting soap residues. on there. Soap, huh? No, no don't no, do no, that. No, don't no, do no, that. No, we no, have no, an no, entire no. blog on theproducemoms.com on how to properly wash your, your fruits and vegetables, and we brought in um, a food scientist. She has a PhD. She's cool. like world renowned in this area. So please read that blog, and you'll be amazed. It's just cold running tap water does the trick. Okay. No, no soap. No, no soap needed. Here. None of those. For years those there. produce <laughs> washes. They're all gimmicks. Okay. So let's make these. I know you've been eyeing the donuts. So I let's make. Yeah, let's yeah. let's show everyone at home how to make these really fun strawberry shortcakes. So the first step. I just bought some cake donuts at the grocery store. Mm -hmm. All right. You're gonna have your cake donut. Of course, you could do a uh, bakery cake donut, too. No problem. And then you dip it in melted butter. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then the next step is you're going to get it in that cinnamon and sugar. Okay. You so don't that's what it looks like. You don't wash the donut, do you? you don't <laughs> I don't think so. I don't wash my donuts. Oh. All right. <laughs> All right. And then the next step here, this is when you assemble the, the shortcake. All right. Okay. So you've got... You're just using whipped cream. You can use homemade or make your life easier and buy it already okay, made. Okay, okay. Add some sliced strawberries here. Hey boy. Boy, that okay. looks good. Yes. Oh, yeah. this looks good. All right. There you go. Oh. Now, you can serve them like that. Or if you want to be extra, as the kids say, you just top it off, okay? Put that on top. Then. Yep, and I'm wow. going to put just a little bit more whipped cream so that the top stays on. Mm -hmm. And then you've got your little your little donut slash strawberry shortcake, and that is such a great, entertaining grab and go treat, and it's also super fun for, and it's something kids can do in the kitchen, you know. So yeah. it's it's a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, now so okay, well, we've I'll, got time to do the wraps. Yes, I'm we hoping. Do. Yes, yes, we, we do. do. Yep, yep. This is truly one of my very favorite recipes on theproducemoms.com. Mm -hmm. Are these really fun fruit wraps? We've done them. We have different. We have all different uh, flavor combos, mm -hmm. but with the strawberries, it's strawberry, fig jam, and brie cheese. So okay. it's really like, think if you like charcuterie boards, think this is like a little charcuterie snack, okay? Right. okay. All right, so the first step, you get your burrito size tortilla. So uh -huh. we're using flour tortillas here. Okay. And then I've got thinly sliced brie cheese, and we're just going to... Lay that down. I've never had brie about one minute there, they said, so I know. Oh, don't worry. I, mean, I, I got this. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. right. A pro. Next, we are going <laughs> to add the sliced berries. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this is the best part. Then we roll it up. We'll go this way so that the cheese doesn't get all nasty and complicated. I've never had brie right. cheese. How, how would you say that? that oh, it's, so, it's a soft cheese. It's amazing. Mm. All right. So you can make this ahead, store it like this, and then when it's time to serve, you just slice it into these little fun pinwheels. Okay, and there you go. And you can put a toothpick in it, like we have here on the display yeah, table. Yeah. And that is another really fun idea on how to entertain. Let me just make sure this brie cheese is safe. I just want to make sure. <laughs> I'm going to eat a strawberry. <laughs> this donut's okay. Uh, George, I think it's safe to say the brie cheese is safe if you want to try this later. <laughs> just in case you want to try it. Donut's okay, too.
Oh, what do okay. you think? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. I don't know if that was a mystery to you, Randy. I think, I think you're doing it out the gate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 